Hey guys, welcome to my new video. Alright, for a while now I've had people ask me to do videos about my cars, so I've decided this build I'm going to try and do a videography. Videography? Yeah, whatever. Um, so basically, I want to build the coolest long base Sierra I can. I've built heaps of Sierras a few over the years, um, I've got a couple at the moment, and basically they've always ended up, they're just never... I always wanted a pretty car and a stupid capable car, and obviously... Your stupid cable car doesn't stay pretty for very long. My current normal base was pretty cool when I first built it. Now, yeah, not so much. So basically, my plan is to take the cool, pretty parts out of my long wheel base and build it into a new, much nah, streetable car. So something like I've got some 33 by 9.5s that are mate, don't know, thank you. They're going on it, so it keeps it look nice and little, um, but still, you know, pretty damn capable car. Um, but today I wanted to give you guys a bit of a look over my cab build. So what this is, is a pretty ordinary example to start with, but it was pretty good for what I wanted, and my mate Brad donated it. Thanks Brad. Base is uh, this MG14 cab. Um, if you don't know, when they came into Australia, these were actually all tub trays. The company cut the back off them and put a cab wall in. Um, so basically they welded caps, I'm not sure if you can see, but on the ends, around there. Um, and the cab wall went really probably six inches there. So what I've actually done is welded a brand new piece of plate across the back and a new piece across the bottom. Gave me about six inches of extra cab room. I've still got a box in the sides there, but it's given me heaps more of car room. Cause I'm a six foot two bloke with a bad back, so, you know, seating positions are average. Anyway, up the front, I'm going to go for a SJ80 dash. So I actually have that already in my longwheel base. As I said, like a lot of this is coming from my longwheel base. So it's just making it into the car it should be, not the tin can it is. Um, also, I've got a extended, I'll flick you guys up a little bit, Meridi cab. So in factory form, they tilt in kind of thing. Um, but mine has been extended by another mate, Zach, uh, at the top, I think four inches, but whatever it was, it makes it a complete square wall. So what I'll end up with is essentially a long base um, extra cap. So more room. As I say, SJ dash now up the front, which is what I want to do this video about today, is focus. Yes. Um, the front clip now. Um, basically, I wanted to keep the stocker look and that kind of thing. Now, this idea I did not come up with, don't claim to. Jonathan Davies did it, showed me to start with, but I thought I might just show the basis of what's going on. So, I'll just zoom you guys in on this side. As you can see, I've removed 30mm from the centre of the inner guard. Now, the rear of it remains in the factory position. It cut in the centre and added 30mm and actually cut out yeah, down the bottom here, removed 30mm here. Um, moved it forward and I've got obviously weld a panel in here. So once that's all done and cleaned up, it essentially looks like a factory in a guard. So as you can see from the other side, you can actually see the difference in the heights uh, of your tyre clearances from uh, where are here yep, to here. And that's where you get a lot of fouling. I'll get into that in another video with the suspension geometry and that kind of thing. But yeah, so basically I thought it was a good time to show you guys something a little bit different. Um, all this stuff's all welded up. I do it all by hand with a gasless MIG. Um, my old world master, the most reliable thing I own, I'm pretty sure. But basically, yeah, it all can be done. Done as I love to do, cheaply. So I'll get back to these once I've got a little bit more done and we can go a little bit further. I'm also planning on this one to make a hybrid um, coily. This is an SJ80 front clip. Sorry, I don't sure if I covered that. Um, so a hybrid coily to... Uh, wide track, well, leafy Sierra bonnet. Um, so making a fiberglass plug and turning that into something that I can mould out. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Cheers.